What's up everybody, my name is Tigris and you're watching Tactical Friday and in today's video we are not doing it live, yes we are doing it old fashioned and we're doing it afterwards because I have a gameplay and now I'm talking and you are watching it and I don't even know what gameplay it is but anyway today we are going to talk about free for all tactics and I've divided these things into a couple of sub, uh, sub things, sub questions, no not sub questions but Sub titles? No. Sub things. Let's just keep it at that. First, I'm going to talk about the gun you should use, the perks you should use, the kill or score streaks you should use, and the plan of attack. So, first things first, the gun you should use. Well, we all have that favorite gun that we'd like to use in the game. You can choose that gun, you can use it whatever way you want it, but in free for all, the tip I can give you is use a silencer. When you use a silencer you do not show up on the radar and you have a big advantage over the other people. As well as a uh, another sight. So if the iron sights are really good use the iron sights. But if the iron sights uh, are not that good and you want to be a little bit more accurate with your shots just put a red dot, red dot or anything on it. Maybe an ACOG, whatever uh, which one you prefer. Put that on so you can be more accurate. I have that with the FAL, I put a silencer on that thing, I put a red dot on that thing and I put FMJ on that thing and I just rock with that gun. And the other thing I can suggest to you is use A, a bigger mag, mag or B, use fast mag. With the bigger mag you don't have to reload every once, uh, every one gunfight I guess you could call it and with fast hands you do re need to reload um, just regular but you do it faster so you have an advantage over the other player if he has to reload first or as well and one tip I can give you guys don't reload after every gunfire because I used to do that and that cost me a lot of deaths and when I stopped doing that I kept more bullets, well not more bullets, but I had enough bullets to kill somebody else and then reload. So you maybe can pick up two or three guys with the same mag before reloading. But if you have 10 to 15 rounds, you have to be careful because you can miss a lot of those shots and you cannot get the kill and you have to reload. So you have to uh, train a little bit with that, but if you do it well, you can uh, you can perfect that. And you can come a killing machine. Alright, on to the perks. The first perk slot. Ghost, Flag Jacket and Hardline. I suggest those three because Ghost, you stay off the radar. So as well as the silencer, you have a big advantage over those people. And I think it's fair to use Ghost in this game. Because you have to be moving all the time to stay off the radar. So you are a little bit at the dis disadvantage of running the whole time. But it's it's still pretty powerful. So I suggest you use Ghost or Flag Jacket. Flag Jacket because there are a lot of bouncing baddies and claymores and grenades that are thrown around in a free-for-all match. Especially the bouncing baddies in combination with the shock charges. You see them everywhere. Somebody throws down a bouncing baddie with a shock charge. When you get stunned or shocked by that shock charge, you can't do anything and then the bouncing baddie pops up and kills you. So I suggest Flag Jacket, I use it all the time because you die very easily of those uh, explosions. And Hardline, you don't get a lot of points for just killing somebody and this is the same as for TDM. When you play TDM or free for all, you don't have really an objective. The objective is to kill other people, and you don't get your usual amount of points in um, in objective ge based game game modes. You get more points uh, for the objective and stuff, so you get your kill streaks or score streaks easily. But in free for all and TDM, that's not the case. So you can use Hardline, and that saves you some points, so you can stack up your kills or score streaks faster and the second perk slot I don't find them that useful at all but if you do you uh, want to use one of those you can go for fast hand because you can throw your stuns and grenades really fast and that can be really helpful at times when you are in a uh, 
bad situation and you need to stun somebody to uh, kill them and that's really becomes handy when you use that fast hand and scavenger because you you can run out of bullets really fast and if you are a strong player and you don't uh, die as much scavenger is really good perk because you don't run out of ammo you can restock your special and lethal grenades so that's a uh, big plus i use it i use it pretty much all the time when i have it unlocked that is and as for the last uh, perk tier slot thingy i put down tech mask tactical mask dexterity and extreme conditioning it depends on what kind of player you are i use tech mask a lot tactical mask because when you get stunned it takes so much time to recover from that stun grenade that it's pretty much always an instant death so i use that and I also use, when I'm sniping that is, I use dexterity because it brings up your sight a little bit quicker. So you can be a little bit quicker than the other, than your enemy, than your opponent. So you have the a little bit the upper hand on your opponent. And extreme conditioning, if you are one of those players that rushes a lot, I suggest you use extreme conditioning because you can get from one place to the other very quickly. And that can be helpful at some times. Uh, when you have to get out of a sticky situation, you can run the whole time. Well, not the whole time, but you can run a longer distance than before without extreme conditioning. So I suggest you use that if you're a rusher. As to kill streaks or score streaks, I think you should put them low unless you are a very good player. But in free for all, when you get 14 kills and then get your last kill streak, the game is halfway done. So I don't really see the point of you stacking up those kills. And then, well, it, it, it could be fun. But if you want to play efficient, keep them low. One tip I can give you guys is spy plane. Use that spy plane. Because you know where the other people are if they're not using ghosts, that is. And then you have a big advantage over them. And you know what's going on on the map. You can see where they spawn and all that stuff. You can control the spawns. So that's a very good thing and a helpful thing. And it is the lowest kill streak, and you can get it very easily. And that spy plane can get uh, can help you get to your other score streaks. Also, I wrote down supporting kill streaks because you can have your spy plane, and then you can have, for instance, lightning strike. That lightning strike can get a uh, few kills, and that can get you to your next kill streak. So use kill streaks that can stack up easily to get you to another kill streak. And that's pretty much all there is to the score streaks. And now uh, to the plan of attack. The thing I do in free for all is primarily when I die and I spawn again, I stick to one area. And when I know where the spawns are, I kind of control those spawns. You mainly uh, are uh, checking three spawns. And you check one, there's nobody, you check the other, maybe there's someone, you pick that person up, there dies uh, somebody else, you pick up uh, that one at the other spawn and just go like that. You can control that spawn, but you have to learn the spawns first, so you have to play a little bit of free for all first before you learn the spawns. But it's when you when you know where the spawns are, you can control them and it's a lot of fun. And the other thing, if you're... Uh, controlling a building for instance and there are multiple entrances you can perhaps throw a shock charge at the window and uh, at the entrance you can throw a bouncing betty and you can um, check the the entrances all the time and when you know there's somebody coming you have them stunned with the shock charge or you have them almost killed with the bouncing betty they're at a disadvantage you are an advantage you can get that kill and when you're using scavenger, you can do that over and over again. But don't don't take advantage of that. Don't abuse that is the word I'm looking for. Don't abuse that because that will get a lot of people frustrated. I know I would get frustrated as well. So play the game to have fun and let other people have fun. Please. So that's pretty much all the tips I have for you guys for today on Free For All. Maybe in the near future I think of some more tips. But I hope I helped you guys. Please leave a like and a favorite if I did help you guys and I did entertain you guys. Subscribe to, uh, to stay up to date with all my content. And other than that, links uh, for Twitter and Facebook are down in the description. So like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter to, to stay up to date with all of the things I do. And 
you can ask me questions and all that good stuff. And other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching. And by the way, before we go, this was the first take. And I think it went pretty well. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Goodbye. My name is Tigris and you're watching Tactical Friday. And in today's video, we are doing another one live.